Hi everybody, I have now moved on to making the engine mount. The engine mount itself is comprised of two pieces of 1 8 inch ply laminated together, but it's laminated with a slight offset around the edges, and that's because it will sit nicely on top of the front former, and then the fuselage sides will be built up at the front using balsa wood, which will slot in to that little slot there, and the same on the other side into that other wee bit there. So the engine that I've chosen for this airplane is a Super Custom 25A aero engine. And what I've had to do in order to get it sized for the mount is cut out a cardboard template that it will sit into. And that gives me the template in which to mark the engine mount. Now, I have to keep in mind that there is a two degree right thrust on the engine itself. So that moves the engine slightly to the right. So I've marked an initial center line, which follows the center line of the airplane itself. And then I have used my template on that engine mount and then offset it by two degrees and then marked out the area that I need to remove in order to make the engine mount itself. So my next step will be to cut this out, offer the engine up to it and mark where the holes go to mount the engine onto the engine mount itself. Once that's done, I'll use the original center line to align it correctly on the fuselage itself. And in order to do that, I've attached a piece of string to the rear of the airplane and I can align that with all of the center lines down the middle of the fuselage and then I'll make sure that it lines up with my center line on the rear of the mount here and that will mean that my engine mount is in the correct location and that my engine is pointing at two degrees off to the right hand side. The engine is now sitting nicely into the mount and what I need to do next is mark through where the bolts will go on the engine mount. So I'm just going to use a T-pin and press through to make a little indent into the engine mount to show where I need to drill in order to allow the bolts to go through and to take the nuts on the opposite side. So these are the nuts I'm going to be using to mount the engine on. They have little spikes on them, they're called T-nuts, they have little spikes on them so that when they get put into the wood they grip and hold into position and this part of the, the shaft will actually go into the mount itself and that will hold it firmly. So I need to very carefully drill out the four holes that I've marked, being mindful that they're, they're very, very close to where I've just done my cut for the engine cutout. 
and then these nuts get pressed in from the opposite side and these teeth will hold that in position. Okay, there you have it. I've mounted the engine onto the engine mount. I have the nuts through at the back. I've had to trim them a little bit so that they don't contact the, the kind of uh, crankshaft casing there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. It's got its two degree offset. So I'm gonna remove the engine now from this, now that I've tried it and confirmed that it's in this correct position. And then I'm just going to mount it to the front of the fuselage and then put in the fuselage side braces. And that is how you mount an engine. See you in the next video.